Good morning, everyone. Today we'll be doing a core and more class. Let's just start by warming up. Deep breath in and out. I don't know why I'm doing this bird like motion again, but again, you can just swing across. You can come above your head. Whatever you would like to do, you can do some of this if you want. I don't know why I'm tending to do that lately, but whatever way you want to move, that's fine, as long as you're moving. All right, so if you want to, you can come into a little march, swinging your arms, deep breath in and out, good. All right, if it feels okay, twisting from side to side, just warming up the sides of your core, because again, that will be our main focus. All right, and again, I always like to say this at the beginning, if anyone new watches this later or is in here now, we're gonna do a mix of easier core exercises and harder. So one might feel like, oh, this is super easy. And then the next one might be, oh, this one's really hard, I can't do it. So just do whatever feels comfortable. I'll give some modifications as well, and we will end up going to the floor. So first exercise, which is one of my favorites, is gonna be the cross body chop. So we're using basically our whole body, but again, emphasis on the core. So feel free, this is a little mini dumbbell that I have here. Feel free to get a bigger one to add more resistance, but basically what we're gonna do is have a slight bend in the knee, you can use your knees to bend a little bit further down, come to your left hip, diagonal over your right shoulder. All right, good. So you just don't wanna be like having to bend forward if your legs are too straight. So you can use that bend in your knee to help you. All right, and nice and slow across, trying to feel it on the side of your core, otherwise known as your oblique muscles. Nice and slow, trying not to whip yourself up so you don't injure or strain your back. So whatever pace, if this is too fast, you can go a little slower, that's okay. We're gonna try for 12 on each side. So we have four more. Good. Awesome. Good, keep breathing. And one more. Perfect. All right, now we'll switch and do the same thing on the other side. So right hip diagonal over your left shoulder and back down. Good. Two, good, nice and steady. Trying to feel it on the side here of your core. Again, you're also using your arms and your legs as well to help out. But the main thing I want you to focus on is the core. Perfect, four more. Trying to, when you get to the top, making sure you don't arch your back, trying to keep that pelvic tilt. Good, last two. And one more. Perfect. All right, for the next one, you do not need a weight. All right, so what we're gonna do, have kind of be in like a starfish-like shape, and then we're going to have a slight bend in the knee, we're gonna bend forward, tap our toe, and come all the way back up slowly. Again, same idea as this one. You don't wanna be whipping yourself. I really want you to slowly lower down and slowly come back all the way to the top. Other side, and when you get to the top, trying to make sure that you have that pelvic tilt, so drawing your belly button in, making sure when you get to the top, you're not arching that back, because this won't feel great on your back at the end if you do that. All right, nice and slow. Again, you can have that slight bend in the knee, but really trying to bend at your waist. Good, and again, if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can stay upright and bring your toes towards your feet. I mean, sorry, your toes towards your hands instead of bending forward. Good, keep breathing. We're gonna end up doing 12 on each side. But again, I know we wanna get through this, but don't rush through it. I'd rather have you do less 
and go slower, then try to do more and speed it up. Good. Four more on each side. Good. And again, if this is making your arms tired, you can bring them just up in front of you or a little bit down instead if it feels more comfortable. Good. If not, bring them right over your head to get that full range of motion. Two more. Good. And last one. Nice. And 12. Okay. Give the arms, the legs, the core a little bit of a twist. And then we'll go back to the chop. So grab that dumbbell. All right. So feet a little greater than hip distance apart. Slight bend in the knee. You can bend them a little more to get to your left hip. Diagonal across over your right shoulder, pelvic tilt, and slowly back down. Good. Two. Keep breathing. Three. Four. Good. Five. Nice. And slow. I know sometimes it's like, oh, why are we doing this so slow? But promise, I promise you, it's going to be more beneficial and you're less likely to hurt yourself. Good. Three more on this side. You got this. Good. And last one. Perfect. Okay, we're going to switch over to the other side. Right hip diagonal across. Good. Perfect. Don't forget about that pelvic tilt at the top. Good. Drawing that belly button in. Perfect. And again, another modification to this is just to move without bending at your waist. So if that feels more comfortable, because this feels like a little bit too difficult, you can definitely do that. You will still feel it as long as you do the pelvic tilt. That's the secret key. All right, two more. Good. And last one. Perfect. Okay, put that weight to the side. We're gonna go back to the toe taps. All right, so legs apart, arms up if you can. Coming all the way down. Again, you don't actually have to touch your toe towards that toe. If you find yourself going like this to try to reach, don't go down too far. So try to keep that back as flat as you can. You can bend a little bit, but shouldn't be super rounded. Again, if this feels too hard, you can bring your leg up without bending at your waist. If you want to do that one instead, whichever one feels more comfortable. Good. What we're going to end up doing 12 on each side. This is four. Nice and slow. Keep breathing. Four. Good. Pelvic tilt at the top, making sure you're not arching the back. Good. Great job. We're almost there. Good. Seven. Good. Eight. Is that what said? Awesome, you got this. Almost there, four more on each side. And again, if by the end this is starting to bother you, like in your back or, or anywhere else, feel free to cut it a little short. I'd rather have you do six or seven of these and feel fine than do all of them and regret it later. So you want to push yourself to a certain point, but not point beyond the point of pain. Because then this is going to delay you doing more later. One more on each side. Keep breathing. And last one. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to grab our dumbbell again. And we're going to do really focusing again on that pelvic tilt. We're going to punch out and up. 
And when I mean up, you don't have to go like right above your head. You can just go a little bit up, like towards your head, about head height. So straight out, back in and up. But again, the whole time, making sure you're not arching your back, you wanna have a pelvic tilt. If this starts to bother your back or you're unable to hold the pelvic tilt, again, stop at that point. All right, ready? Good. So the main thing is the only thing you want moving are your arms. Everything else should be still by engaging your core. Okay. Four. Keep breathing. Five. Good. Pelvic tilt, I'll remind you again. Sometimes you start off with a pelvic tilt and then somehow it just goes away. Good. Almost there. Four more. Good. Keep breathing. You got this. Keep smiling. Awesome. Two more. Good. And the last one forward and up. Awesome. Okay. Give that core a little rest for a second. And then we're going to do alternating bicep curl. Well, let me grab my other dumbbell first. It won't be really fun to do this with one weight in one hand and one without. So if you can, hold your arms out. If not, you can bring them down here, but we're going to do alternating bicep curls. And with any one um, arm thing or one leg thing, you're using your core more to really help to make sure one doesn't come up before the other one comes down. So you don't want to be like this and kind of moving from side to side. I really want you to keep that pelvic tilt. One goes up slowly and down. The other one comes up and down. Again, if this bothers your arms, you can hold them down a little lower. But just really making sure you have that pelvic tilt. You're holding everything else together and the arms are the only thing moving. Good. Keep breathing. We're gonna do 12 on each side. This is four. Five, good. Keep breathing. Remember one has to come all the way down before the other one comes up. Good. Seven. Good. Eight. Try to relax the shoulders. Again, if it's starting to pull on your neck at all, you can bring them down a little bit lower. Good, check on that pelvic tilt. One or two more on each side. Good. Last one. And done. All right, again, not only is the core gonna be tired, but the arms are gonna be a little tired too. So we're gonna go back to punch forward and up. All right, pelvic tilt. We're gonna punch straight out, back in and up. Again, not super far up. Good. Just as high as it feels comfortable. So not really an overhead move. Good. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Keep going. Check on that pelvic tilt. We're halfway done. Seven. Eight. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. We're almost there. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And one more. And done. All right, give those arms a little shake. We're gonna grab the two dumbbells again and go back to our alternating bicep curl. So again, if your arms are like, oh, I'm so tired right now, you can keep them down here. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can hold them up, but if it starts to pull on your neck, bring them back down. All right, pelvic tilt, curl and down, curl and down. Again, if you were to look at yourself in the mirror, you wouldn't be teetering from side to side or moving your waist. You'd be holding everything else in 
and just moving from your elbow down. Good. Keep breathing. Four. Good. Check on that pelvic tilt. Make sure you're not arching your back like this. Really trying to make sure that stomach is tucked in. Good. Halfway. Good. Keep going. You're almost there. And we're going to go on the ground right after this. So we'll have a quick water break, take a little breath, and then we'll go to the floor. Good. Awesome. Two more on each side. Keep breathing. Good. And last one. Okay. Give those arms a little rest. And on the ground, we don't need any equipment, just yourself. So slowly make your way to the ground or, or, um, or bed or anything you'd like to do this on, and I will meet you down there. Grab the pillow. All right. Lower this down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so if you're there already, you can come lay on your back. You can kind of just relax for a few seconds. Deep breath in and out. We'll rock your knees from side to side if it feels okay. Just releasing any tension, which hopefully you didn't put on your lower back, but if you feel anything there at all, we're gonna just roll back and forth, slowly releasing any tension. Okay, so now, the first one we're gonna do is the beloved scissors. So again, you can make this easier or harder. If you wanna make it easier, easier. Up in the air like this, still have that pelvic tilt. If you wanna make it harder, lower your legs down. You can go up and down, whatever feels more comfortable, but making sure the whole time your lower back is pressed against the floor. So. We're gonna do 30 seconds of this, so let me grab my timer. Oops. All right, ready? We'll start in three, two, go. Make sure you have that pelvic tilt. So again, you can try going down a little bit, but if that lower back pops up, come right back up to the top. Rather have you do it up here the whole time than try to go lower and let your back come off. So you really wanna be targeting right here in the lower core. Good, we have 10 seconds. Good, awesome. Three, two, one. A little rest. We're going to switch between that and the bicycle, which has become one of my new favorites. Um, I know sometimes people will do it at the crunch, but honestly, I find you focus on that pelvic tilt and just do the bicycle aspect, you're going to feel it a lot more and not have to worry about hurting your neck. So we'll also do this for 30 seconds and we'll start in three, two, go. So pedaling and making sure that lower back is flat. Make sure you're still breathing as well, even though you're holding the pelvic tilt, you're not holding your breath. Good. All right. You're almost there. I always end up doing this for some reason. You do not have to do that. Um, all right, let's see. How much time do we have? 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. A little rest. You can bring your knees side to side because we're going to repeat those two one more time. Good. All right. Breathing. We're going to go back to the scissors. All right, let's see. We'll start in three, two, go. Pelvic tilt. Good. Perfect. Awesome. Almost there. We have 10 seconds. Check on that pelvic tilt if it starts to pop up. And even if you're up here, if it, you can't keep it down, I want you to bring your legs back to the ground. Three, two, one. All right, 
quick 10 second rest and then we'll go back into the bike. All right, let's see. Oops. All right. We'll start in three, two, and one. All right, keep pedaling. Kind of like you're going somewhere super fun, like, I don't know, whatever your fun place is. Mine would be the beach on a nice summer day, not too hot, not too cool. Perfect temperature. That's where you're biking to, or wherever you would like. <laughs> All right, almost there. Good, three, two, one. All right, so we have two more to go and we're just gonna do it one round. So we're not gonna switch back and forth. We're just gonna do it one time through and then we'll stretch. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up into a bridge and bring our legs in and out. So not only are we working those legs, but we're holding ourselves up using that lower core. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds then we're gonna come onto our side and do 12 straight leg, I mean side leg raises on each side, then we'll stretch. So we're almost done. All right, ready for this one? And again, if this feels like too much, you can do this on the ground, as long as you have that pelvic tilt. If not, you can lift your hips up and we will start in three, oops, two, one. So in and out, holding yourself up using your core, not only are you gonna feel it there, but you're gonna feel it here, 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 a lot of different places. All right, almost there. Good, keep going. You need to bring it down, you can. We're halfway there. Awesome. Almost there. Good, keep breathing. Three, two, one. Good, all right. Coming onto your side and really trying to make sure you're on your side and not rolling onto your back at all. We're gonna bend that bottom leg straight in the top and we're gonna do a nice slow side leg raise. Again, you're gonna feel it in your leg of course, but also using your core to make sure you're not rolling back and forth or moving any other body part. Good. Keep breathing. We're almost there. We're in the, we're in the final stretch, literally, because we will do a stretch. Uh, okay. Um, but we're almost there. We have three more on this side, and then we'll switch to the other and do a nice little stretch. And one more. Perfect. All right, let's switch to the other side. All right, make sure you're on your side. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Good. Again, the only thing moving is your leg. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. All right, great job. So we're gonna end with a stretch on our back. So again, like I always say, we'll do a quick version now. Feel free to repeat these a second time or check out our stretch and relaxation video on YouTube. It's very nice. If I do say so myself. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's start by bringing our arms open, bringing our knees from side to side. Keep breathing. Okay. All right, we're gonna bring our knees in towards our chest, rocking side to side. And again, do only the stretches that feel okay. Okay, if it's a little tight, that's fine. But if it's painful, I want you to skip it. All right, releasing one leg out, keeping the other knee in towards you. Good. Keep holding, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And then 
and we're going to switch legs. Good. All right, we're going to extend our arms above our head, legs straight. We're going to just stretch out our whole body. All right, we're gonna slowly roll up to on our knees. So again, this is definitely one of those stretches that either you feel comfortable doing or you're like, yeah, no, I'm gonna skip that one. So this first one, child's pose, I just want you to come onto your knees if it feels okay, and then reach forward as far as you can, stretching out your back. You can keep your head down or up, I would suggest down. Stepping your hands over to one side. Keep breathing here again. Forward. Again, side. All right, and then for this next one, only if it feels comfortable, coming up into a cobra. So stretching out your whole stomach, opening up your chest. Good. And again, if this is painful in any way, skip this. All right, pushing back one more time into child's pose. Good. And we're gonna slowly make our way up to standing. So I will see you up there. Take your time, no rush. All right, if you're up here already, you can start rolling the shoulders back. Good. And forward. Good. We're gonna do a big head roll all the way around nice and slow. And other way. All right, arm across your body. Switching sides. Arm behind your back, grabbing onto that elbow. Good, switching sides. Again, remember to breathe through all this, no holding your breath. We're gonna have a slight bend in the knee. Then we're gonna let everything fall forward, releasing any tension, swing side to side. Grabbing onto your arms, I mean your elbows. I guess they're part of your arm. Then we're gonna slowly roll up. Deep breath in and out. You can bring your arms behind your back a little to stretch out your chest. Inhale and out. Two more. Deep breath in and out. Last one. Deep breath in and out. All right, everyone. Great job.